Hello and welcome to another Advanced Golden video. In this video, we're going to take a closer look at the retopology section. And we will be using this really nice model of Harley Quinn, modeled by the very talented modeler Damien Lamb. So let's start out as per usual by making a new scene and referencing in the model. Now this model has been modeled in an external modeling application and this one in particular comes from ZBrush and if we select the mesh we'll see that the arrangement of polygons called the topology is here very dense which is quite normal for models coming straight out of a sculpting application. However, dense topology like this is not very well suited for uh, animation and rigging. So what I will be showing you now is that there is a section to help with this in Advanced Skeleton, which will help with retopologizing. It will create a new polygon mesh where the placement of the points are directly related to where the joints are going to be. So the first thing we're going to do is start with the standard fitting process as we would do on any Advanced Skeleton rig. And we'll go ahead and start with the standard biped template. And then we'll go ahead and build the advanced column. Now, if we go and take a look in the read topology section, you'll see the first thing we can read here is to make sure to create skin cage or skin sub first. So let's do that. We'll go ahead and create the skin cage, which is done here in the form option two. Now the skin cage is a polygonal cage built based upon the position of uh, the joints. And this is going to be the base which upon the retopology geometry is going to be built. Now the first thing I recommend doing after building the skin cage is to use the uh, move red skin curves to deformation width option. And as you can see, particularly in the elbow area here, that's going to give us a better distribution of the edge loops. So what we could do at this point is go back into the retopology section and create retopology. However, that will create a resolution matching this polygonal cage. Now this might be what you want in some real-time rendering cases, for example, for virtual reality projects. But for our purpose here, we're going to create a more detailed retopology mess. So what we'll do before proceeding to retopology, we're going to go to option three and create the sub rep cage. So we're going to go back now to the retopology section. First off, we'll hide skin sub and skin cage. Now, next thing is we're going to select the mesh to create the retopology from. And with that selected, we'll go ahead and hit create retopology. And here we have our retopology body mesh. Now our retopology mesh at this point does not have a head or face that matches the character at all, but we're gonna come back to this. There are some functions here that can help you to tweak your retopology mesh. If you want to tweak the position of some of these points, you can just move to where you want it and then use the update selected function to make sure to snap the points onto your uh, high res mesh. And you can also use the mirror function here to make sure that any changes you make to the retopology mesh will happen on the other side as well. You can also modify the density of the mesh if you wish by uh, inserting edge loops. And we can also generate a normal map at this point. And if we go to texture view, we can see that the normal map gives us the appearance of some extra details in the model by using this map. Now the next button is called bind. Now this is one of the benefits by using the advanced skeleton to create a uh, retopologized mesh is that advanced skeleton knows how this mesh has been generated, what joints created what part of the mesh. So as soon as you hit bind, the retopologized mesh is fully bound. Uh, 
Uh, so next, we're gonna go and look at the face section of Advanced Golden Retopology. Now this section works a little bit different than the body section in that you choose a predetermined topology configuration for the face and that gets matched to your model. So you can see here by default we have three topology options which is called default head, lower head and high head. And as it says here you can create your own face retopology templates by simply saving them out in the head topology folder. Now if you are doing that just use one of these three existing head topology scenes and just follow the naming convention in that file. So for our Harley character here, we're just going to choose the default head and we'll hit create. And the first thing we're seeing is uh, these uh, curve guides that we are going to move the locators to change the curve and make it match to our model. Then once we got these locators uh, positioned to match our model, we'll go ahead and uh, click on the Match Guides button. And there's our retopologized head. Now at this point, this is a separate mesh from the body. And the next step, we're going to connect the two into a single mesh. So we'll press the Connect Body button. And we now have a single mesh. And the mesh is still fully skinned to the body rig. And then we have some uh, additional optional steps here. If you also wanted to create uh, a retopologized uh, face geometry, such as the eyeball and teeth and gums. So we'll do that for our model here. For the eyes, we'll just use default eyeball. Hit create and adjust the size attribute to get the right size. Then we hit bind eyes and create the teeth and position these inside the mouth. Note that with the teeth, we'll have some parameters here that allows us to warp the teeth in various uh, directions to make it fit with our character. And also note with the eyes and the teeth, just like the topology for the head, you can create your own templates by saving them out in the corresponding topology folders. So we'll hit bind teeth. Uh, the last button here in the face rig topology section is the face rig prep button. Now what this does is it will automatically complete the fitting process of the face setup. See, normally when you do a face rig with using Advanced Skeleton, you'll be going through the process of defining what surfaces are what parts of the face and also defining the areas such as the eyelids, the jaw and eyebrows, etc. Now, but here, since we have used the face rig topology tool, we can just hit the face rig prep and it will automatically complete all the face fitting for us. So let's go ahead and do that. And there we go. We can see that the uh, face fitting locators and curves have been placed. And if we look in the face fit section, we'll see that all the checkboxes are ticked and the face fitting is complete. So what we can do now is go ahead and hit build advanced face. So the build process is complete. And I'll go ahead and assign the same material that we had on our original mesh. And unhide the other parts of the body. Now for the clothes, uh, the uh, retopology tools will not work for this. So we'll just go ahead and use the Maya Poly Optimize. And to skin it, we'll just go into Deform Option 2 and hit Copy Weights. Now that's it for this time. I hope you have enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.